Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be installing KDE Neon, a Debian Ubuntu based system with the KDE Plasma Desktop. KDE Neon. Well, KDE makes the Plasma Desktop, so this is their flagship. So uh, let's go ahead and install it and see what it has to offer. Alright, we got the Calamari's installer. We can see some information about the Calamari's installer here. Version 3.2.62. Alright, so my language, American English, that's correct. Location, Los Angeles. Keyboard layout, English US, correct. We're going to go ahead and click on Erase Disk. Now we will set up our. Uh, Location. Now let's set some user info. All right. Give it the ultimate password. And I'm going to set it to log in automatically, just to, for ease of use. Go ahead and install. All right. So we are installing KDE Neon now, and this usually takes between five and ten minutes. So uh, I'll pause the video here and come back once it's done. Okay, installation has completed, so we're going to go ahead and uh, reboot the system so we can get into KDE Neon. Okay, we are rebooted and we are narrow now inside of the KDE Neon system. And we are hit by a welcome screen. But before I look at that, let me go ahead and uh, fix the display so we can get a proper 1080p uh, output. Display and monitor. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Click apply. Yes, sir. We'll keep it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. Come back to our welcome screen. All right. Welcome to KDE Plasma. So the basic uh, welcome screen. Uh, click on next to see what else it has. Simple by default. Shows you your control settings. Click on next. Powerful when needed. Shows you uh, system utilities. And KDE Neon. Connect, activities, vaults. All right, next, manage software, discover, which is your software manager. Next, share anonymous usage information with KDE. I have it set to disable, but if you want to share info, you can go ahead and do that at different levels, but I'm going to keep it at disable. Next, connect your online accounts. I'm not going to do that, never will. Get involved. You can click here and contribute to KDE Neon, however you can. And support your freedom. You can also make a donation. So help you guys out at KDE Neon. All right, we're finished with this. And that's your welcome screen on KDE Neon. Now, just like any video, we'll start off with our system tray down on our panel. So we'll take a look. We have a peek at desktop. Then next to that, we have the clock. Clicking on it opens up a calendar. All right, we have a pull down menu. And in the pull down menu, you have other system tools like notifications, updates, clipboards, things like that. Then next to that, we have our network connections. So if you have uh, Wi Fi cards or anything like that installed, you will find them here. Then we have a, an icon for mounting devices. So if you had uh, like other ROMs uh, mounted, other CD drives or anything, they will show up here. And last but not least, you have your volume rocker and audio settings. All right, that's your system tray. Then over here on the system tray, we have some pin applications. So let's go ahead and click these to see what we have. We have Firefox, which is our web browser. Pretty much standard on most Linux distros. Let's see what version we're running. Firefox is using version 120. And that's Mozilla Firefox. 
Next to that, we have our file manager, which is Dolphin. Yes, Dolphin. And it's a standard uh, file manager. Does what any file manager should do. And Dolphin will run in version 23.08.3. And next to that, we have Discover, which is our software manager. And here, if you want to install applications, you can do a search for them, or you can pick from the list that they have here. And they also have categories here on the side, which you can choose by. If you want developer tools, you can click on that. You can go back. If you want games, click on that. You scroll through, find the games you want. And it works like that. Multimedia. And this is your software manager and let's take a look at the about so you can see what it has or at least uh, what version of things it is discover 5.27.9 all right that's your software manager and next to that we have our system settings so in the system settings here you can change everything from theme man to your workspace you know, notifications, user info. You can pretty much control your whole system right here, right in this section right here. It's pretty powerful. You can do a whole lot with this. And about the system, here we get some information about the KDE system. KDE Plasma version 5.27.9. And it also gives you some processor and uh, memory info. This is KDE Plasma. Alright, now let's open up our Applications uh, Launcher, which is on the bottom left hand side. And here is our Applications Launcher. So you got Development, Graphics, Internet, Multimedia, Office, Settings, System, Utilities, and help. So in the development we have Kate which is our advanced text editor and it opens up with a welcome and you can remove that and start texting away. And about Kate version 23.08.3 Kate advanced text editor You can go ahead and discard that. You don't need it. You just test it. In our graphics, we have Glenview and Ocular. Glenview is just a standard image viewer. Open it. And then you can go to recent files if you had any photos. But right here on the hamburger menu, you can just click on open and navigate to wherever you have photos stored and open them. Let's see the version here. Gwenview version 23.08.3. That's your image viewer on the KDE EVM desktop. Internet, we've already seen Firefox. KDE Connect is for like cell phones. Connect a cell phone, you get your cell phone to pop up on your screen, and then you can uh, manage it from there. Multimedia, we have VLC Media Player. Let's go ahead and check this out. And being that it is a media player, you can open up videos, network streams, audio, all types of media. And VLC is running version 3.0.16. That's VLC Media Player. And in our office, we have Ocular, which is a simple document viewer. Most systems have a Libre Office and things like that, but this one doesn't have it installed. It just has a simple document viewer. So if you have a document, click on File, navigate to it, open it. And let's see what version of uh, Ocular, 23.08.3. All right, and that's Ocular. All right, settings, system settings. Let's open that up. 
We already saw this earlier, but uh, I'm gonna get in here and get into some theming. So I'll just uh, bring this down. Put it up here, open our file manager. Put it here so we can see the themes as they, uh, as they take effect. So right now, currently we're on Breeze. And we have Breeze Dark. So if I got desktop and window layout. So I'm gonna click them both like that. That way they change both. Click on apply. And as you can see, bam. Changes the panel, changes the, the window, everything. And that's Breeze Dark. Then Breeze Twilight. Let's see what this does. Click on apply. All right. Pretty much almost the same as uh, Breeze, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's some difference to it. We'll go back to Breeze Dark. I like the uh, the dark themes, just easier on the eyes. And then on the application style, which is pretty much your buttons and your menus and all that, how that's laid out, you can change that also right here. Then plasma style. Plasma style is another way to change the look and feel of your system. So let's say I want to use air. So you change the uh, panel, but your theming on on your folders and application stays the same. It just mainly changes your your menu launcher and things like that and the panel. So we got breeze. I think we were on breeze. And then we have breeze dark. Pretty much look the same. And then oxygen. That's oxygen. Then we got colors. You can change the uh, color. So let's say like on um, the window title and things like that. Set it to that. To so this. And this one. But I'm gonna go back to the breeze dark. All right, and the window decorations. I have two here, which pretty much changes the icons on your clothes and minimize and that's that. Then you can also manage fonts, icons, cursors, splash screen, boot splash screen. So like I said, KDE Neon, you can do a whole lot. It's a very uh, flexible system and you can change a whole lot of details on there. I mean, everything I just showed you is just the tip of the iceberg. You can change a lot with KDE. Now, let's look at the wallpapers. Pretty much all, all KDE systems come with a similar wallpapers. Click on it to view it. So if you're looking for a different wallpaper, just right click your desktop. Select the wallpaper manager, get to it, and start changing things around. You can also download photos from, from uh, your web browser and just put them in a folder and just navigate to them and you can use those images as your wallpaper also. All right, pretty simple and straightforward. All right, so this is KDE Neon. Uh, did we see any uh, system information as far as resources or a terminal? Let's see, do we have a terminal? Yes, we have a console. So this is your KDE uh, terminal. And on the about, console 23.08.3. Let's see if we got HTOP installed. Probably don't, but or NeoFetch. Nope. So let's go ahead and install them real quick using that. Shouldn't take long. Simple, quick setup. Alright, so 
here it is. Let's start off with H top. That's H top right there. All right, memory. We're using 1.3 gigabytes of memory. You can see the processors. They're barely working. 0.7, 1.3%. Yeah, processors are barely working. So, uh, pretty good. Not bad at all. Now let's do a NeoFetch. And that's NeoFetch. Make it just a little bit bigger. There you go. KD Neon 5.27. And the kernel 6.2.0. Alright, desktop environment, plasma 5.27.9. And that's your terminal. Alrighty. That's going to do it for this video. Just a quick uh, overview of KDE Neon Plasma. Uh, I'll have uh, download links and uh, the homepage all in the description of the video. So if it's something you're looking for, you'll find the links there. Alright. That's it for this video. And I'll see you on the next one. And I'm out.